My name is Fatima Abubaka. I'm the Deputy Director of Communications at the Office of the President. I'm very excited to be part of this uh, Young Zongo Women Fellowship um, on this day, 23rd of November, 2019. This, I believe, is a very essential training that we need to give to our young women, especially in this day and age that we believe for us to reach a level where everybody will be able to get total wealth in Africa. We cannot possibly exclude women. And we need to equip them with the essential learning materials, with the proper principles with which they can go into working in a, in a corporate environment and also to establish their own businesses and run it for successive generations. The corporate governance lectures is important because most young people know how to start, especially for African women. Starting a business is not a novelty. We inherited it. It's something that is imbibed in us. We are able to turn anything into a marketing product because we are very industrious and we know how to do business. But it's gotten to a time where the way we do business must change, especially for our Zongo communities. The tabletop businesses, the head top businesses, all those small, small ideas like selling on the street, selling in the kiosk and all that would have to change because we need to scale up, employ other young people in our community and ensure we are able to alleviate com uh, poverty in our communities. And to do so, we must ensure that we have the best of structures, we follow procedure, we apply lay down principles that have worked all over the world to our businesses to make sure they succeed. A lot of young people are also working in the corporate world. And in this day and age where we have young people become CEOs, young people create tech businesses that have become renowned worldwide. Young people have created maker businesses that are worth billions of dollars. We need to start teaching them how to lead in their respective corporations so that when the time is right and the opportunity is given to them, they will know how to apply best practices for their businesses to succeed. Personally, I was really excited about this session because I had to share my experiences and what I have learned with women. And in Ghana, we know for a fact, and in Africa in general, that when it comes to wealth creation, women are a bit let, uh, let down because of culture, because of socialization, and all the traditions that we came and met. But a country cannot possibly develop when half of its population is left behind. And that is why we need to start changing the narrative by imbibing in our young women the need to learn how to lead in corporations and not just go and work as receptionists or secretaries or administrative assistants and what have you. We want to have them interested in being board members, being management members, being corporate executives who are distinguishing themselves. Because we have that in the country at the moment. And that era of giving an excuse because we didn't have role models is far behind us. Because we've seen how women have led. Because we've seen women like uh, Miss Obonai of Vodafone. We've seen the Joyce Ayers. We've seen even a female chief of staff in this country. We've seen a lot of dynamic women do amazing things as women leaders. And for that matter, we want to give back to as Zongo women, so that they take those experiences that we share with them and they also build their, uh, their foundation on that basis. And for this session in particular, the students were just amazing. Their participation was on point, 100%. They were interested in knowing more. Some were even extra curious. And all the exercises that we did, I believe will be a beginning of many great things to come. And I'll be excited to do this over and over again, of course, hoping that one day we'll meet these young women at the top doing amazing things for the country and for the world.